everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting. Oh, let's worship the name of Jesus. Everlasting, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Let's praise God. We praise your name. We will bless the everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you, Lord. Everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Jesus tonight. Just give him praise. He's the Jehovah Nisi. He's Yahweh. He's the God. He's the miracle King God. Just lift up those hands that the Lord has given unto us tonight. Just worship his name. Lord, we will worship your name. We give you glory this night. We thank you because you are the great I am. You are the almighty God. Yes, for planting everything he has sown, everything she has planted in the year 2015. Lord, in this new year, she will harvest, he will harvest in the name of Jesus. We agree today, every force, every power that will hinder him, hinder her from harvesting, he shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your son. We pray for your daughter. We pray for this entire house. We pray for every family. We pray for Christ table. In this new year, we shall step into our harvest. We will harvest. We will harvest. We shall harvest. Harvest. Harvest the result of our toiling. Harvest the fruit of our labor. Harvest answers to our prayer. Harvest return to our sacrifices. Harvest reward for our services in the name of Jesus.
up your hands on the Lord in gratitude. We belong to the Lord in appreciation. And say, Father, thank you for seeing the year 2016. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Shout Happy New Year! Shout Happy New Year! Shout Happy New Year! Why don't you rejoice with your neighbor? Say Happy New Year! 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 I'm glad that you made it! I'm glad that you made it! I found God. The anchor word and scripture for this year from God for our lives and our destiny. It's taken from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Please put all those on the board. It says, Arise. We're going to read the Amplified Version throughout for the next 20 minutes. It said, Arise. Can somebody say, Arise? But I say, I will arise. Say, so In this 2016, I will arise. It's arise from the depression and prostration in which your circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Can somebody say shine? shine. Can somebody say shine? shine. Say in 2016, 2016. I, will shine. I will shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. For your light has come. Amen. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Amen. May this be your word for this year in Jesus' name. Amen. This word for us in this church. Is that in 2016 you will arise, you will shine. Amen. It's not a cliche. It's a direction. It's a guide. It's a counsel from God to us. And I want you to keep this prophetic text in your mind. I would like you to make it a priority of your thinking. Make it a priority of your mindset. Of your reason. Of your actions. Throughout this fresh new year. And every other agenda you have for the year 2016, make sure you hook it to this prophetic test. Every plan that you have for yourself for this new year, hook it to this text. But for a moment, I want you to concentrate on the word. For your light has come. Your light has come. What does it mean? For you, Christ Chapel, it means your season has come. Amen. It means your time has come. Amen. It means your turn has come. Amen. It means the occasion for you to arise and shine has come. The opportunity has arrived for you. Say good amen to this. Amen. It has come. Amen. I'd like you to listen to me and listen hard today. In this new year, do not waste your time because the light has come. Do not waste your time because your light has come. Do not waste opportunity and chances that come your way because your light has come. Do not waste an open door. Do not waste an intervention. Do not waste a favor. That God will bring your way this year because your light has come. Amen. This new year, don't be shy to let him lose your faith because your light has come. The opportunity for you to shine has come. Don't shy away in getting involved in the things of God because your light has come. God says your light has come. And you will rise with shining in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Why am I so emphatic about this? It is because it's time for you to be on your way to the top. 
it's time for you to be on your way to the top. Amen. Over in Genesis chapter 41, Joseph was living a lowly state. He was living a life of depression. He was living in darkness. But suddenly, his light came. Your own light has come in the name of Jesus. Amen. His light came. An opportunity arose for this man in darkness, in a lowly state, in a depressed state. And Joseph did not waste time. He did not waste time hating the rich people. He did not waste time getting bitter about Potiphar and the wife. He did not waste time complaining about the situation. He never wondered why is God not moving on his behalf. Because he noticed, he saw that his light has come. Amen. This year, don't waste time. Can you say amen to that? Amen. For your light has come in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Joseph's life began to shine. And that is what the Lord wants to do in your life today in the name of Jesus. Amen. So get ready for his shining in the name of Jesus. Amen. My point is this. Opportunity for Joseph came. He grabbed that opportunity and that took him to the top. Somehow here you are going to the top in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because that's what God asked me to tell you. That this season, many of you will go on your way to the top. Amen. You will go on your way to the top. Amen. Only a few is receiving and say you will go on your way to the top. Amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And that's why I'm so excited because the Lord has shown me that for the first time. The members of this church, Christ Chapel, will take his word seriously. And he will take it to the top in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then the second phrase there is, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amen. What does it mean? It means that the power, the tool, the weaponry, the grace you need to arise to shine is now. Can somebody say now? now. Is now upon you. The grace. The power, the tool, everything you need to shine in this year is now upon you. It's now with you. Upon you means it's available for you. And by the grace of God, as you don't waste time and use this tool, you will rise to the top in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In Genesis chapter 41 verse 14, Genesis chapter 41 verse 14. It was not a prisoner or a slave that hastily was brought into the house of Potiphar. It wasn't a slave. It wasn't a prisoner. It was Joseph. It was Joseph. His time came and your own time will come the, in the name of Jesus Christ. It was Joseph. And by the time he stood before the king, the glory of the Lord was upon him. And everything that was in Joseph, the tool, the grace, the gifting, the weapons, the anointing, that was upon him, he began to use it and Joseph harvested. And this year, you can't, away, you can't afford to waste time. Don't complain. Don't worry. Don't be bitter. Don't be hateful. Just grab your own opportunity. For your light has come and the glory of God is upon your lives. Yeah. Folks, I heard my God said to us that Christ Chapel will harvest this year. Yeah. And I believe my God and I will harvest. You will harvest. And we have us in the name of Jesus because the season is set before you. So all you need to do is to arise and begin to shine. Amen. Make it the priority of your reasoning this year. Arise and have us in 2016. Arise and have us in 2016. Look forward to blessings from all your prayers. Look forward from blessings from all your sacrifices, from all your services. Look forward to it. Expect it. Arise to the top. In this new year, I would like you to desire a new life. Desire a new level. Desire a new season for yourself. Arise and take over. 
your inheritance in Christ Jesus. And what is your inheritance in Christ Jesus? It is peace. It is joy. It is healing. Good home. Good children. Good marriage. And may the Lord bless you with all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me just make two statements before I pronounce the seven blessings that the Lord laid upon my heart unto you today. You are not shining for your sake this year, but for the sake of God. Say amen to this. Amen. This is very key. You are not going to shine for your sake. It is because of the Almighty God. Because of the Almighty God. Never ever forget your God in this year and beyond this year. I'm begging you in the name of Jesus. The God that says, you will arise, you will shine. Never forget that God. This year and beyond. Matthew 5, 16 says, Let your light so shine, so that men will see your good works, and then they give glory to the Lord. Your shining is done for your sake. So that when the Lord begins to take you to the top, you will forget him. It is because of Christ that you will shine. Amen. Amen. It is because of Jesus you will shine. Your good works, because of Jesus. Your hard work, your excellent work, your righteous work, your productive work, your effective work. Every work you would do, let it be for the glory of God. My point is this. Every single one of us here that is hearing my voice, God wants you to be an evangelist for him. An evangelist for God. Your work will speak for Christ. Amen. Your service will speak for Christ. Amen. In your place of work, you will speak for Christ. Amen. Amen. You will be a red, redeemable epistle of Christ. Wherever you are. And that is how to shine. Folks, people will believe your testimony about God and about Christ when you shine. They will believe your testimony. If you're in an entity, nobody will believe your testimony. But if you shine, I tell them, my God is good. They will see the goodness of God over your life. You will be an evangelist for Christ this year in the name of Jesus. So remember this, this day, that it is not for your, for your sake that you will shine, but for the sake of Christ, so that you'll be an evangelist for Jesus. In your neighborhood, you'll be able to talk about Christ. Amen. People say, why are you shining? You said, it is Christ that did it for me. Amen. Amen. In your place of work, they say, why are you so efficient? They say, it is Jesus that did it for me. Amen. In your school, why are you so excelling? They say, it is Jesus that is behind it. Your testimony about Christ, about God, will be believable in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then secondly, and listen to me hard this day. Secondly, 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 season is not forever. I said the season is what? It's not forever. One season gives way to another. One season gives way to another. Because things change from season to season. If there's one thing I know, summer will always give way for spring. And then spring will yield way for other seasons. Seasons don't remain the same forever. I don't know why I'm saying this. Maybe it is so that one person here will never regret in this year in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I want to encourage you, arise to harvest early this year. May you never miss your season in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you, you will not miss your season in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because seasons don't stay forever. The Lord have declared and set this season before you. Arise and lay hold on it. And be on your way to the top in the name of Jesus. Let me tell the neighbor, start now. Start now. Say, confidently, say, start now. Start from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord has placed seven blessings into my heart for this year. And as I pronounce into your life, I would like you to say good amen to it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. These blessings are rooted 
in great men that God moved on their behalf in the scriptures. Their blessings were rooted in these blessings. And what the Lord asked me to do is that as I pronounce it upon you, those blessings will be planted in your own life Amen. for this new year in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want you to pay careful attention as we read the scriptures today. The first one. The blessings of the covenant. Can somebody say covenant? covenant. The blessing of a covenant was the root of Abraham's blessings. And this will be planted in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. For it is written in Genesis 12, 22 to 3. The Bible says, And I will make of you a great nation. Amen. And I will bless you with abundant increase of favors. And make your name famous and distinguished. And you will be a blessing. Dispensing good to others. And I will bless those who bless you. Amen. Who confer prosperity or happiness upon you Amen. and curse him who curses you Amen. or uses insolent language towards you? Amen. In you will all the families and kindred of the earth be blessed, Amen. and by you they will bless themselves Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pronounce unto you today because it's written in Galatians 3, verse 13, verse said, Christ has secured through his death the blessings of Abraham upon us. And may this blessing of Abraham come upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The blessing of Abraham is a physical blessing. It's a blessing of prosperity. In this new year that you have embraced, may you be planted in physical blessings. Amen. May you be planted in prosperity. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say you will see physical blessing this year. You will see prosperity this year. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two. The blessing of Isaac was rooted in unusual grace. And unusual grace shall be your portion this week in the name of Jesus or, or this new year. Because it took unusual grace for Isaac to have faith in God. Unusual grace to have faith in God. Because it is written in Genesis 26 from 12 to 13. Genesis 26 from 12 to 13. It says, then Isaac saw seed in that, that land. I received in the same year a hundred times as much as he had planted. And the Lord favored him. And the Lord favored him. And the Lord favored him with blessings. And the man became great. You will be great this year. And gained more. And you will gain more and more. Until he became very wealthy. You will be wealthy. And distinguished will be distinguished. In the name of Jesus. Say amen to that. And I pronounce blessing upon you as God gave unusual grace to Isaac. May you also receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. The unusual grace will be released upon you this year. Receive the grace to go where others have never gone. Receive the grace to do what others have never done. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord favor you with blessings that will distinguish you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then number three. The blessings of Jacob was rooted in revelation for success. Yeah. And it shall be planted in your life this year also in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I had a dream at the time the flock conceived. I looked up and saw that the rams which mated with the she goats were streaked, speckled, and spotted. And the angel of God said to me in the dream, Jacob. And I said, here I am. And he said, look up and see. All the rams which met with the flock are streaked, speckled, and spotted. For I have seen all that Laban does to you. In this new year, by the grace of God, that you have just embraced, the Lord shall open your eyes of understanding. I said, Lord, we shall open your eyes of understanding. You will see this year in the name of Jesus. You will perceive in the name of Jesus Christ. What people could not see, you will see this year. Solution to problems, you will see this year. Answers to questions, you will see this year. You will perceive ways that men have never seen this year. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will plant you 
in the revelation to succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. By vision, you will see paths to your blessings. By the very revelation, you will recover all that has been taken away from you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. From this glorious morning, by the grace of God, you will embrace your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. With your natural eye, you will see the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. Then number four. The blessings of Joseph was rooted in multiple favors. And that multiple favor shall be planted in your life in the name of Jesus. Because it is written in Genesis chapter 41. I will read from verse 31 to 41. And the plan seemed good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said to his servants, can we find this man's equal? Can we find this man's equal? Now, I was so glad that one of our ministers prayed that prayer. In your place of work, they will distinguish you in the name of Jesus. Can we find a man? This equal man in whom is the spirit of God. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, For as much as your God has shown you all this, there is nobody as intelligent and discreet and understanding and wise as you are. You, you, you shall have charge over my house, and all my people shall be governed according to your word with reverence, with submission and obedience. Only matters of the throne will I be greater than you are. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, can somebody say see? see. Can somebody say see? see? I have set you over all the land of Egypt in one day just because of multiple favor. In this new year, you have stepped into by the grace of God. You too will enjoy multiple favor. Amen. You will enjoy multiple favor. Make favor seek you at all levels. In the mighty name of Jesus, may favor seek you in every position, in every situation, in every circumstances. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the favor of God will set you on high. In this new year, it will set you on high. Say amen to that. Above your peers, favor of God will set you. Above your age mate, it will set you. About your group, it will set you. About your colleagues, it will set you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this new year, through divine favor, you will, you, you will taste authority. I say you will taste authority. You will taste authority. You will taste for multiple favors in diverse places in multiple times in the mighty name of Jesus. Number six or number five. The blessing of Daniel, can somebody say Daniel, was rooted in outstanding wisdom. And with such divine wisdom, God will be planted in your life this year in the name of Jesus. Because it is written in Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. Then this Daniel was distinguished above the presidents and the satraps. Because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Praise the Lord. In this new year, by the grace of God, the spirit of outstanding wisdom to excel over all dimensions of your life will rest upon you. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, I said the spirit of wisdom to excel in all endeavors will rest upon you. In 2016, in the name of Jesus, it will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. God shall set you far above all your oppressors. God shall set you far above all your oppressors. God shall set you far above all your oppositions. God shall set you far above all those who hate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, this new year, may the Lord give you solutions, answers to local problems, answers to national problems, answers to community problems, answers to global problems. In the name of Jesus, in your company, God will give you answers. In your generation, God will give you answers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number six, the blessings of David was rooted in divine promotion. And this divine promotion, the Lord will plant it in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Because it is written in Psalm 78. 70 and 71. Psalm 70, 70 and 71. He chose David his servant and took him from the sheepfolds. From tending the eels that had their young, he brought him to be the shepherd of Jacob 
his people and of Israel his inheritance. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands and say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, this new year, this fresh year, the Lord will choose you for promotion. Everywhere you are due for promotion, God will choose you. God will nominate you. God will appoint you. Because promotion enables and enhances harvest. This year, the Lord will promote you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then number, six, number seven. The blessing of the Lord and master of our life. The humanity part of Jesus Christ was rooted in righteousness. Without righteousness, Jesus couldn't have achieved anything. Without righteousness, Jesus couldn't have harvested at all. And this righteousness, by the grace of God, will be planted in your life. In this new year, in the name of Jesus. It will be planted in your life as a covering. Because it is written in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. It said, but as to the son, he says to him, your throne, O God, is forever and ever to the ages of the ages. And the scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of absolute righteousness, of justice and straightforwardness. You have loved righteousness. You have delighted in integrity, virtue, openness in purpose, thought and action. And you have hated lawlessness, injustice and iniquity. Therefore, can somebody say therefore? God, even your God, has anointed you with the oil of exultant joy and gladness above and beyond your companions. Praise the Lord. If you live in righteousness, the oil of gladness will flow down your life. Exultant joy, inseparable joy, uncontestable joy shall be your portion this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this new year, may you eat the fruit of righteousness. I say, may you eat the fruit of righteousness. May you see the rewards of righteousness. May you taste the harvest of righteousness. May you dwell in righteousness. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. This seven blessing shall be your portion. Amen. You'll be planted in it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Planted in multiple favor. Amen. Planted in divine wisdom. Amen. Planted in promotion. Amen. Planted in the covenant of the gospel. Amen. Planted all in the righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shall you, shall, I want to say I receive it in the name of Jesus. Say one more time. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Every week you will harvest. Every moment you will harvest. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you go this year. It shall not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Every decision you take, every choice that you make this year, by the special grace of God, you will not regret it. In the name of Jesus, the favor of the Lord will work for you. The favor of the Lord will cover you. You will wear favor like a cloth. In the name of Jesus, may God surround you with goodness. May God surround you with goodness. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you today that you open the eyes of these ones. To discover what man has never discovered in the name of Jesus. This is their year. They will not miss it. This is their season. They will not miss it. This is their time. They will not miss it. This is their turn. They will not miss it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I arrest every power of darkness that threatens the heavens this year. It shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. It shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. Everyone that generational causes, ancestral trends, worries in 2015, this year they are free from it in the name of Jesus. They are free from it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Father. Your sons will be called blessed. Your daughters will be called blessed. Their children will be called blessed. In the name of Jesus. Yes, as you laid it upon my heart, many, many, many indeed let all under the Son of my voice go to the top in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our God. Now bless them in the name of God the Father. Bless them in the name of God the Son. Bless them in the name of God the Holy Spirit. May every day of this year be blessed. May every week be blessed. May every month be blessed. In Jesus' name we are praying. And the sins of God will shout a big hallelujah. 
Amen.